Good morning, everybody. Um, there is about 17 baby rabbits in our garden. When I say baby rabbits, and a cockerel. Um, when I say baby rabbits, I mean baby rabbits, like tiny little things. Um, this morning's quite a nice day, it's quite warm. It's been the first time, really, I've been able to get out in the garden early morning and not be cold. In plant news, we have some, some plants that are slowly growing out of this uh, compost I put down. Um, a bird keeps coming down and trying to steal it. Is that a talon? Oh no, that's a uh, bit, of, bit of something. But we've got um, either a squirrel or a magpie keeps coming in here and, and biting at these plants. So although they may look really nice, look like they're sort of doing their thing, unfortunately, most of them have already been bitten off by something. Probably those baby rabbits climbing up into the wheelbarrow and, and eating all our stuff, all our produce. Anyway, I'm going down to the bottom of the garden today. Well, near the bottom of the garden because we're gonna have a little picnic uh, amongst the bluebells. What has happened to our lives? <laughs> this is what our, uh, our days have become. Uh, next week is, is great because next week we can start to go around each other's houses again uh, and hug with caution. I can't wait to hug my nearest and dearest with caution. Is that a rat or is it on oh, no, a squirrel? Okay. Actually, touch wood, I've not seen any uh, rats, which is great news since moving here. A lot of slingers though, a lot of slinger nails. And here we have it. This is gonna be the location of this morning's picnic. Okay, do you know what? I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Look at you in all your glory. I know, this is you, me. I'm in between much... bluebells, which is my new favorite plant. And sting nettles. And stinging nettles. Well, nettles, you can touch those ones, they won't hurt. Like grab, touch them. No. No, honestly, look. No, you're, look. you're lying. No, look. See, nothing. Oh, really? Yeah, grab it. You can pick it, pick it. You're lying. No, touch the leaf, see? Oh, yeah. See, now touch the, touch the stem, pick it off. No. Why? No, touch the stem. No, I'm not doing it. Please touch the stem. No, I'm not doing it. Oh. Look. I mean, the mats could be bigger. Be <laughs> I cleared a big old space. Didn't but need it in the I'll end. Sit, I'll sit on this and you can sit on there. Yeah, I mean, plenty of room. Oh, and you've got the breakfast. Look there at that. Go. The this coffee. And the sun, like when it's out. Hopefully, the sun will stay out. Here. Yeah. It's a new little look, breakfast wait, spot. Wait, look, I can like lean on my tree. You can lean on a tree. What a result. Good morning, everybody. I feel like they're going to be really good eggs, too. Yeah. Look at that. What a lovely start to the day. It. Cool, blimey. Should we do some metal detecting? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because, no. Oh. Now we need to fold up that. We gotta fold it up. <laughs> fold up this giant mat, put it back in the basket. That take you all day. Shut the basket. I'll tell you what we were discussing though. We might try and get a hammock going from this yeah. tree Definitely. to this tree. Definitely. Could be good fun, couldn't it? Yeah. Little, little, nice little hammock between here, look. Yeah, that'd be I, don't, I think it'd be too small. Oh, wait. Hmm, be interesting. Not sure. I think it'll look good. Um, but, bluebells, 10 out of 10. Definitely, I'm so happy with Great them. little additions to the garden. I'm glad we planted them uh, when we first, when we we first moved definitely in. Definitely not here this morning. Huh? What? Here, was not here this morning when I came out. Well, where was it then? Wasn't here. You what were you trying to say? You moved that. Then we've got a garden ghost. You moved that. <laughs> of course I did. I, how do you think I cleared this area to put the picnic ah, blanket down? I was going to that. I was forking everything up in this garden. Did you actually? Yeah. Doing a bit of forking. Bit of, oh, bit of forking at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> <laughs> little little forking sesh down the bottom of the garden. Say one more time or what? <laughs> uh, now we've got the... It's actually so pretty. Yeah, but now we've got the fun task of trying to get up this giant hill back to our home. <laughs> oh, see you in a bit. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited and I just cannot freaking hide it. Do you know what? When this light's on, you can really see how dodgy my painting was. Look at that mark. You see in there? How oh, have I managed that? A few vlogs ago, or a last vlog ago, um, I mentioned about how I'm sort of 
going down this sort of nostalgia trip, especially at boot sales, trying to find like hidden gems from, from my past. Um, and a lot of you are loving it, and I also put a shout out saying like, look, I want to refind all the consoles that I used to have as a kid, but also all the games I used to have as a kid. And uh, I asked you to get in touch if you had a Mega Drive or games and stuff, and loads of you did. Um, so thank you so much for your messages. I have, uh, I have now acquired, successfully acquired, a Mega Drive. Um, and a load of games. There's still a lot more out there that I am looking out for. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I've got. It came in an actual full-on box, which is exciting. I have opened it, but not fully. So, we've got bubble wrap. We've got in here a box full, absolutely full of goodies. The one thing I did open was this, this controller, which brought back a flood of nostalgia not just for me, but also for Diane, because Diane used to have a Sega Mega Drive as well. Um, and so the first thing she did when she saw this was take a picture of it and send it to her brother, like, oh my word, do you remember these? Simpler times. In here, I think we have, I need to put the camera down, don't I? So where can I go? That's gonna be, do you know what? I'm gonna get on the floor. Two controllers, um, both working very nicely, and both have the exact same scratch on them. Oh no, they don't. So that's cool. Two controllers. Thank goodness we have the actual console. Because we need that. We're not going to play games about that, are we, Joseph? Oh no. The legit proper one from the olden days. Or have I been, have I been mugged off? <gasps> oh my god. It's exactly how I remember it. Exactly how I remember it. I remember this little switch here for like headphones. I never, no, I don't think anyone ever played Sega Mega Drive with headphones in. What an absolute piece of kit. Oh, we've got cables, which is good because it's not gonna work without the cables. The people that are like, why, why are you getting this now? I don't get it. Um, I don't get it either, but uh, I think my, my sort of plan is to, for my office, um, is to set up like an old school telly somewhere in the office uh, and connect it up so I've got, I've also got a Sega Master System 2, uh, which my sister got me um, for my birthday one year, which is one of the best gifts I've ever, ever had in my life. Um, and, and I want to connect those consoles up to the old school telly. It's going to be like an art installation of a TV with the Sega to set up, like sort of playing, you know, people to come play if they want it or whatever. I think that's the kind of vibe I'm going for. Right, first set of games. Sweet focus. Mortal Kombat. What's a, uh, what a game? No manual, that's fine. We don't need the manuals really, do we? Do we need the manuals? I don't think so. One of the best fighting games ever. There's a few games in here that I never had. Um, so I'm happy to swap them out potentially for people if they've got games that, that they need. If there's anyone out there that needs games. Um, this one I did used to have, so I'm glad I've got that one. Next up we've got another one which I did have. Uh, I never completed it terrified me a bit for some reason. Echo the Dolphin. This game used to scare me a lot. I don't know why. Never completed it, so we're gonna, we can, maybe we could do that. I want, also, I want to see if there's a way in which we can connect this thing up to Twitch so I can play these old classics on a Throwback Thursday stream. I've got this one. Rise of the Robot. Rise of the Robots, including music by Brian May. That's cool. Um, but I don't think I ever had this game. We've got another huge bubble wrapped load of games. A lot of bubble wrap views on this. They did not want anything getting broken. So I appreciate that. Another three games. Alex Kidd, kid you not, Alex Kidd uh, in the Enchanted Castle. Uh, it was a good game actually. I actually quite enjoyed Alex Kidd as a game. The rock, paper, scissors. Um, we've got Super WrestleMania with um, Hulk Hogan. WWF wrestling back in the day. I never had it, but I was a big fan of WWF, so well happy with that. Space Harrier 2. Never had this one. This one's new to me. Never had that. Um, I'll give it a go. I'll let you know what it's like. One of my favourite games ever. Uh, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Special collector's edition as well. Very cool. And it's two player as well. So me and Diane can play it together. If she wants. <laughs> I doubt she will. This the page in here that looks like it's been printed out. We've got Ultimate Soccer! Uh, 
Never had it, but it could be a laugh. You can get one to eight players playing this using the Sega's four player adapter. That would be fun when, we, when, when lockdown gets ended. Hey, come around mine and play Ultimate Soccer on Sega Mega Drive. What? You're right, Joe. I think lockdown's got to his head. Um, Mega Games 1, I actually did have this. Well, actually, no, it's tell a lie. My uncle had this. Um, it comes to three games on there. All three of these games I love because it's the only game my uncle had for his Sega Mega Drive to go around and play this uh, on his. And it had uh, Super Hang On, which is a really fun um, motocross game. World Cup Italia 90, which is actually really good. And Columns, which is like a kind of Tetris style game. Very cool. Uh, next up we have uh, Boxing. James Buster Douglas Box Out Boxing. Never had it, but could be a good game. I will try it. it feels it's, got the, it's got the manual as well, so extra points. What the bloody hell is this? It's come in a weird box. Eight great winter events. Winter challenge for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive systems. World class speed endless challenge. It's winter, winter Olympics. Um, and it's the old school cartridge like this. Look at that bad boy. But it comes with a booklet on it. Oh, okay. Never tried it, but I will try it. Super Thunder Blade. Um, this one's seen better days. Bloody hell. That has seen better days. Super Thunder Blade. Um, never played it, I don't think. But looks pretty cool. I mean. <gasps> now this is a banger. This is an absolute banger. We've got Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Very cool game. I'm well happy about that. Um... I think I did have this. I may be wrong though. Was there more than one Indiana Jones game? Because if there was, I might have had the other one. Next up, Mickey Mania. I don't think I ever had this. This could be one of those games where I feel like I never had it until I play it and I'm like, oh my god, yes, I did have this one. Lotus Turbo Challenge. Head to head, two player racing. Um, I don't care about this game. And that's everything. The collection is growing. I forget how much space they take up. Where are they all gonna go? The answer to that is, I don't know. I don't know where it's all gonna go. Um, I'm hoping I can store it in here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I need to try and hunt down these other games that I used to have um, to fulfill the collection. There's a lot of games. That, there's a lot of games in there that I didn't have as a kid, and it's not. It's not the same. I probably will still play them at some point, but I need all the old classics. I need my Toe Jam and Earl. I need my Ren and Stimpy. I need the the Simpsons one. What was that one called? Um, what else did I have? Bubsy. Bubsy 2, I think it was. Uh, Dynamite Heady. Uh, the list goes on. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, Streets of Rage. <gasps> yeah, anyway. Um, but that's my, my current Sega collection for all you people that... Love nostalgia and old school things from the from the nineties. Um, if you don't enjoy that stuff, then sorry for wasting the last ten minutes of your time. <laughs> I'm actually not sorry at all. I want to go the same colour as you, please. The same colour as me. On the Diane Buzzwell special. <laughs> Could you imagine if we both walked around town like? Hands are so cold. With bright orange hair together. <laughs> Look at us! <laughs> Look at us! <laughs> Right, so what are we doing today, sir? <laughs> That's the thing I use on the plant. I know, plants. it's very, it's so good. <laughs> Wait. It's so good, it didn't work then, did it? God, my hair has got long. Do you know what though? The last time we did, oh my god, why is it working? It's got to get some, do you know what though? I kind of like, part of me is kind of like, I want to grow it out. No. Do you not think? No. Really? You, you look super cute when you have your little haircut. Do you think? Better than when I have it long? Yeah, I think I like it, a haircut. Really? Yeah. What are we doing anyway? I'd love to grow out long. Oh, that's a number one. You don't want that, do you? No. Um, I definitely do not. So many magpies in our garden. Just... <laughs> cough. <laughs> I think um, they're the worst birds. No, I like all birds, but I magpies are at the bottom of the list. No Actually, no, seagulls, but they're magpies. Joe. Yeah, sorry. I don't know where. And heads heads up. up. So I've got to go for number one. Well... Wait, wait, wait so, so let's, let's just discuss. I like how I had it for that other self tape I did. Remember? Yes. Um, Do you remember how you did that? 
Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I do. Look at the hair like coming off my ears. Yeah, I know. That's that's actually like that's. So the other, the other day as well, we were going through old photographs of me as a kid, <laughs> and I can confirm I've always had this hairline, all right? So no comment saying, "Oh, Joe, what look at your hairline? Look yeah, at it, Captain Reseda." I'm not Captain Reseda, all right? I've always had this hairline. Your um, pop has it too, doesn't he? Yeah, and my pop. So it's um, my granddad. Granddad, yeah. So it's a bit of a. Um, Family heirloom. Yes. Yeah. Family inheritance. <laughs> a family heirloom. But it's not a bad thing. Whoa, Joe, your hair was so long. Yes, I know. Ow, why are you so rough? I'm not rough, but I have to get your oh. ear down. Oh. Don't start on me or else remember what I've got in my hand. I love how the world's opened back up again, right? And I'm still having a lockdown home haircut. Yeah, but that's not a bad thing. Like, I am a hairdresser. Do you, yeah. do you remember that? So, I was going to have my hair cut by Kieran, but I've got a, um, no word of a lie, I've got a, I've got a, a self-tape to do. Um, and so I've had to have, not saying that I wouldn't let you cut it, Dot. It's just like, you know, obviously you do a great job, but I do miss having a, a London barber special. Yeah, I must say Kieran does do a very good job. Yes. Um, no, that's not, is that part of it? What do you mean? The crown. What do you mean is that part of it? I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but, uh, unfortunately, I've got a film, like, today. So, annoyingly, um, I've not been able to go and see Kieran. But, so make the most of this doc, this could be the last one for a while. It could be. Ow, ow. Imagine being with a bright orange hair like that. Do you know what, it's like Ziggy Stardust colour. Ziggy Stardust? Yeah. Oh, yeah. from your favourite movie? Huh? Start from Stardust? No, Ziggy Stardust. Oh. And the spiders from Mars. The one that I asked you about today. Who? Remember I said, who's that person of that show? No. Oh. What show? Stardust! What are you on oh, about? Oh, no, that's the turn. Is that the Ziggy surname? Stardust, is a, he was a singer. Oh, he? He was an alt, a, alternate, he was a, a character played by David Bowie. See? Ow! What was that? <laughs> I tried to call the spot with my phone! Right. Ziggy Stardust sung Starman. Oh, go on then. There's, There's a Starman star waiting in the sky. I don't have a piece of toast. No, I rather, don't want to see you ghost. I'd rather have a piece of toast. That's it. I'd rather have a piece of toast. I'd rather have a piece of toast. The ordinary world is in heaven under ladders. I'll keep a rabbit's tail. Ah, one more light. Oh, oh that's where the trowels are. Oh, yeah. Where they were. You kind of look for them. Yeah. My ah, are ah, so blunt. They absolutely changed. <laughs> yeah. A good set of James's on you. You're going to see your head up. James Blunt. Careful of that. Don't expose that hairline too much. <laughs> I know, I know. About to keep that covered. Never walk under ladders. I'll keep a rabbit's tail. I'll take you out on a date. Anytime, anywhere. I'm not wearing underwear. I'd rather watch the evening news. Live. Oh, live. Oh, live. Do, 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 life. What would be your go to karaoke song? Hmm. That one, we came through with the money in the gold about let them know we got that kick straight out the gate. Only independent moves, somebody who gets the whole from saying, why spend mine? Right now, it's been a yowl. Disagree, well, that's you, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep playing these cats out like a horror. High heel shoes, get a love from the dunes, from the badass chicks, from the badass that one, because I can wrap it. She drinks wine with gum in her glass by the case to reading of expensive tea. She went, I can't remember whether I was nervous the first time cutting your hair. Oh, oh. can you get that? Yeah. So I can't. Not dressed like this. Me holding it. Yeah, Peggy, for me, for me! Oh, shit. <gasps> quick, 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 run, 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 run. He left his Oh, my thing. God. Oh, no. He left his... He left his little His thing. little package bleeper thing. Um, oh, what's it here? The Joe Sug. 
Wait, what is this, Jody? Oh, it's what I thought it was. Dear Joe, I'm a big fan of your vlogs and I am really enjoying your Road to Roman coin series. I wanted to send you one that I got from a museum on my school oh. trip. So even if you don't find one, you will have one. From Harrison Buckley. From, um, H-Bomb. Oh, what, the Buckleys? Yeah, it's oh. Harrison Buckley. Oh, Harrison, that has made it, my day. Is it the Buckley's son? Yeah, Harrison. Oh. H-bomb. H-bomb, that is amazing. That is so cute. Also, you have the neatest handwriting. That's neater than I could ever that write with. That is so cute. Um, and your drawings are really good. You've got my legs perfect in that. Same, same size. Oh, that's amazing. That's Thank you. That's and... really cute. Is it a coin? It's simply an actual. Oh my god, this coin. is so cute. Is there a coin there? Oh my god, there is a little tiny coin. Oh. That's so cool. That's super cute. That's made my day. What a sweetheart. Oh. Go on, Harrison. That's amazing. Um, why Thank you, H-Bomb. I'll treasure that for life. That is a vintage Woody Woodpecker plush toy. <laughs> right. Guys, it looks like I'm going through a midlife crisis with the no, hair. No, I know this. what he's doing with these, and actually it's going to be super duper cool. I'm doing a special project. But this is going to be very hard on it. It's going to go on the edge, that's why. Ooh. Yeah. Um, there you go. I'm making something really cool in the we future. We get sent things like this daily. <laughs> ah! Sorry about that. Oh, dug that right in. Ooh. Oh! See, do you do it every time. Did you do that a lot in, when you own the salon? Yeah. All really? The time. Yeah, because I just, I just knock it out of Would my head. Did you get, ever get anyone and go, oh no, sorry, uh, uh, don't put that in my head, it's been on the floor? Um, Ow. Ow. <laughs> you really dragged that comb through the scalp, didn't you? Oh, I'm I'm feeling sexy and free. I'm feeling sexy and free. <laughs> <laughs> like lips is raining on me. me. <laughs> You're so high up. Really oh, hang on, there's a little thing on the chair. Oh, yeah, there. please take yourself down a notch. Metaphorically, or how's a little Scooby Doo on there? I can't take you seriously with your little underpants on. <laughs> You're basically in underpants. Give you a wedgie! Dots, no stop. <laughs> oh, I've got the cake caught in me. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Dots, stop! <laughs> yeah. Not all heroes wear capes. You can really give me a wedgie here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, road runner. When he catches you, you through. Road runner. Do you remember Road Runner? Yeah, but. It didn't have a theme tune like that. Yes, it did. Did it? Yeah. Road runner. If he catches you, you're through. Road runner. That's all I know. <laughs> What's that? Me, me. That one. Yeah, me, me. That's me, it. Me, me, me. No, he didn't have, he didn't have a theme tune like yes, that. Yes, he did. Road runner. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Google it. I feel like everything in Australia had a theme tune, though. Yeah, it was pretty much like that in Australia. I'm gonna make a change. I'm the man on the mirror. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think it's way better short. Yeah. Do you think? What do we think? Chat. <laughs> what do we think, people that are watching? Short or longer? Hey, look, that's instantly, without even any product. Yeah. It's sitting up nice. Yeah. Isn't it? Hmm. Like a, like a young Ronaldo. Yeah, super cute. Except with, with none of the talent. <laughs> well done, Dot. Not a bad job. Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. It's nice. I feel free. Sexy and, and I haven't got trousers on. Sexy and right. <laughs> we've, as you saw, we've had some parcels arrive. One of them, two of them are, two of them are not for Diane. One actually is for Diane and Diane's brother. But I think that's it. If not, it's going to be awkward. A one in three chance. <gasps> is it? Is it? I think so. It looks like it. Is that the one? That's the one. Is it? Why are you smelling it? Because it just smells like Najalster. <laughs> that is amazing. Najalster. That is amazing. <laughs> what the bloody hell is Najalster? Yeah, that old memories. You haven't told anyone what it is. It is okay. So this is. I knew, show the front. I show the front cover. It, but Atomic Raider. Runner. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's pure in a gel stuff. Atomic Runner, this right here is what me and my brother would play for hours on the Sega Mega Drive and this is the only thing we had because mum wouldn't buy us That was the game. one game they had. One game. So I found it on years. eBay and I was like, right, we've got to get that for can Diane. Can we actually play your Sega Mega Drive? We need to connect up to a, we need like an old school TV. Where can we go find one? Uh, boot sales. This Annoyingly. Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday, hopefully we'll get a TV. Yeah, hopefully. We'll look out for a TV and then hopefully we can play this bad boy yes. and relive those memories oh and then God. inevitably go, oh, it wasn't as fun as, we, as it was when we were kids. No, honestly, I could tell you every nook and cranny on this game. Did you complete it? Yeah. Really? Like, I was, I was better than Brendan. Oh my God. I was way better than Brendan because I was a secret player. Yeah. As in, like, I snuck into their bed. Tell you what, it's in good condition as well. It is. It's a very I nice in one. I room a lot and played that game. Aww. Did you ever watch The Page Master? What? The Page Master. No. So, it was a, a film starring Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay? Macaulay Culkin, yeah. What the, did you call him? Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin, yeah. I don't know if this is, if it's, this will actually, I don't remember this game ever coming out. But, is this real? No, we've got the Page Master on Sega Mega Drive. I can't tell if it's legit or not. It looks like it's not legit. I hope it is. The Page Master on Sega Mega Drive. Once again, I never had it as a kid. I never remember it being a game, but it comes with a book and everything, so it looks legit. The Page Master is one of my favorite films of all time, so this is, um, this is a major, Major throwback. And hey, just like that, the vlog is over. I've got nothing else I can show you guys, but except for Diane putting on her shoes. Why are you talking American? Say goodbye. Bye. Oh, have you been on the Listerine? I just did some Listerine. You yeah. got a bit of Listerine, haven't you? I can smell yeah, it from here. It's cool, good. blimey. Um, guys, I'm going to end the vlog there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you <laughs> haven't already. And I'll see you again soon with another vlog but until then take care of yourselves and uh see you in the next one bye